Hi guys, my name is Ivo from mytestedasp.net. In this video, I'm going to show you the top five books every C Sharp developer should read, in my opinion, of course. And I have been using the C Sharp language for maybe six years now, and I have learned quite a lot during the years. I have read a lot of books, I have watched a lot of online tutorials, I have attended a lot of seminars and currently I'm working as a CTO in a large software development team. Additionally, I'm teaching a lot of students how to write better C Sharp and JavaScript code. And in, I wanted to share the best books everyone should read if they want to become better C-sharp developers. Before we begin and before I show them to you, I want to say that these books are in no way sponsoring this video channel and these links I'm going to leave in the description to the books are in no way affiliate links. This is pure my opinion based on what I have read in the past. The first and most important book, in my opinion, every developer should know, not only the C Sharp ones, are Code Complete. Code Complete is the Bible of the programming. It will improve your coding skills no matter what language you are writing. I believe the examples are, were in Java or maybe they were in C Sharp. I don't remember currently because I read it five years ago, but I read, I learned a lot. It shows you principles of software construction that are very valuable and if you want to write clean and quality code, this book will teach you how to do it. So, when you decide to read something to improve your coding skills, read Code Complete. It doesn't matter whether you are a C Sharp developer for this one, but it's just great. It's just great. The first release was, I believe, 1994, but they updated it a couple of times. And if it's still relevant today, imagine how abstract all the concepts in the book are. So, if you have to read only one book in your career, only single one, and nothing more, I should recommend Code Complete. It's the best. The second book I'm recommending is Design Patterns, Elements of Reusable Object-Oriented Software. This book is also very great to learn about abstract ways of constructing software. Uh, all the design patterns listed in the book are very good and very common and even if you don't use them in your own software uh, applications, you will learn a lot of common uh, programming problems and how to deal with them. So you will improve significantly just by reading these design patterns even if you don't use them directly in your code. Before we, before we continue I would like to say a quick thank you to my sponsors. I have been uh, developing open source libraries for like three years now. Most of them are for the ASP.NET framework. For example, this one is a fluent testing library allowing easy and strongly typed assertion of controllers, services, models, database and various other parts of your web application. And in order to make development of this project sustainable, I'm running a sponsorship campaign on Patreon and Open Collective. If you like my content, my videos or my tools, you can support me here 
on Patreon, some people already did, or on Open Collective. I will be very thankful. The current sponsors are Softuni and Smart IT. Thank you guys, you're great. Okay, the third book is COR via C Sharp. That's a very in-depth book for the C Sharp language and you will understand how the C Sharp language runs and how the C Sharp language works behind the scenes. You will understand every single concept of the language because it's one thing to uh, using for example collections for using variables and using methods creating classes and so on but by reading this book you will understand how everything works together and how the C Sharp language is built and it's a pretty awesome language so make sure you read that book also it's great Next book is about refactoring, improving the design of existing code. This book is about one of the... In every programmer's job description there is a hidden field and that's refactoring the code. No matter the project, no matter how big it is, you are always going to refactor and improving existing codes. Three months, if, if uh, three months are passed from the start of the project, you're going to refactor the existing code. And you're uh, not going to stop improving the code and changing the code. And this book will learn, will teach you how to make that process better and how to understand how to write cleaner code while changing the existing one this book is a must in my opinion as you can see i'm giving you books that are not technology oriented because technologies can go you may learn angular 2 and in two years it will not be relevant you may you may learn asp.net core 2 and in two years there will be asp.net core 5 and as you know, in the programming world, everything changes so fast that it's not valuable for a person to read a technology book except when they want to use that technology right away. For example, if I'm not going to use React any soon, I'm not going to read about it. Yeah, people talk about it, people say that it's cool and it's it really cool, it really it is cool because I know React, but if I don't create a web application with React, I won't read a book about it. I won't learn anything new beside the knowledge specific to the technology. So it's better to read um, more abstract books, books which will make you better developer in general and not in a specific technology and having said that these four books are great for becoming a better developer not only c-sharp developer but better developer in general code complete design patterns elements of reusable object-oriented software cor via c-sharp and refactoring improving the design of an existing code Read these four books and you will improve tremendously, I promise. And the last book I left for a technology book and it doesn't matter what technology book you are going to read but you need at least one. Yeah, it's better to read non-technology books like the previous four but if you are going to use technology for two or three years you should better read at least one book. For example, uh, back in the day I read Pro ASP.NET MVC because I knew I'm going I was going to use ASP.NET MVC for uh, 3 years and more. So I read one of the most popular books about the technology and I learned quite a lot how to write better 
applications. So, in my opinion, you should you should have uh, a favorite technology and read a book about it. But don't do it too much. Don't read five books about the same technology. Mm, they repeat themselves and mm, it won't be valuable for you. For example, I have read three books about the ASP.NET framework and only the first one made me uh, learn a lot of stuff. So, read one book, you decide. For example, if you're writing C Sharp games using Unity, find the most popular Unity book and read it. But read only one. If you are, for example, using WPF, then read the best WPF book. If you're using ASP.NET, read Pro ASP.NET. Whether it's the core version or the normal version, doesn't matter. But read only one, maximum two of these technology books and only if you're going to use the technology uh, for at least two years. Otherwise, it's not worth it. I have read AngularJS book which was for the very first Angular and I didn't use it for two years. And you can imagine I didn't learn anything from that book because I read it and in two months I forgot it. I have I wasted my time. When I started using Angular in uh, after these two years I had to learn relearn everything again. So it's better to learn only technologies you're going to use, no matter the current hype. Just if you want to read and improve, just read abstract books like Code Complete, Design Patterns by Gengo 4, COR via C Sharp, and Refactoring Improving the Design of Existing Code. I will leave links in the description and thank you guys. These, these books are quite big, so <laughs> they will keep you busy for quite a lot, quite a long time. Thank you, and again, I would like to thank my sponsors, and if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment below if you know a great book that I didn't mention, and pretty much that's it.